Two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So this is funky colors. Nice. This is how it looks in infrared. <laughs> Okay, the lights are not really flickering. It's just, I think, the frequency of the lights and the frequency of the scanning. But there's two other competing Christmas fathers. Okay, so it seems like our speed is going down because the wind is going down. Just more and more and more down, down, down. We're still doing okay. But I think at one point we are going to say we call it a night. And we're going to have Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Short people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I uh, say. To bring in the fishing lines. Yeah, so Pietro is going to bring in the fishing lines. Oh. And there's nothing at the end of this one. It's raining in too quickly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I say. It's just really in too easily, so there's nothing at the end of this line. Oh, that's not good. Not one fish. But it's good because we've got lots of meat for Christmas lunch. So we'll catch the moi tomorrow. Is it? Yeah, we've got <laughs> space for it tomorrow. I've made a date with it. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> not sure you guys can see the sails because now we've even got black sails. Ooh. Well, you can see the mast <laughs> and you can see the moon but the black sails you cannot see time to follow the genoa okay the genoa is in and now the autopilot is desperately trying to to steer us and now i need to fly the main. <laughs> That's the problem of the red lights. At night everything is a different color, but at least I know where my main alias is. Yeah, she knows all the lines and there's, lines. there's a there's a lot of lines here. So we switched the other lights on because we are about to stop sailing. Jamo is loose. Before we abandon the helm, I'm going to switch on all alarms. So first we need to put a radar in off weather mode, otherwise all the waves and everything is going to hamper. So I'm going to just go there, put it into offshore and then that's it. So we are now on offshore. So now we will only pick up boats and hard objects, not weather. And then I go back to my charts. And on a charts, ah, thank you, Raymarine. There goes my night vision. And I've got this fancy night vision, but it flashes so badly. Anyway, so I go here to targets and collision avoidance. I'm going to put this thing on maximum. So let's put that one on maximum and the number of hours also maximum. The number of 
time to reach the safe distance and then we're going to switch on the radar target and also zone 1 I've put zone 1 on 12 miles so anything that's going to enter zone 1 is going to raise the alarm hopefully and that means everything so it means IAS targets, radar targets, everything countdown is starting <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I saw I saw it. I couldn't put it on camera. I saw that Sisu was going less than three knots. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm it felt faster. I'm sure. It was definitely below three. I'm sure. <laughs> it's it's. Yeah, the, the thing is, Sisu doesn't want to go below three with the new sails. It yeah, is like that's why I don't believe it. <laughs> like last night, sitting there, I mean, we were at six knots, two wind, and we were going at. Or not. Yeah, we were still going. So I need to see the three <laughs> <laughs> below. Well, anyway, the sails is down to you. <laughs> you can go now and see it. It is <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like after the fact. But yeah, yeah it's know. Christmas. Come on. Oh, come on, let's do, do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got champagne, we've got everything, but I think we need to go and, and sleep now. shower and then shower but, and yeah. freshen up for Christmas lunch. Yeah, but first sleep. I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, I think we can do a little the sails is down, we're bobbing around. There is no boat for my. I just woke up here. Christmas morning. So, all the trimmings are here. Ooh! And this is the morning view. Absolutely no wind at all. And we are just bobbing around. <laughs> Quite something. So Pietro is busy making noise. She got an ancient script here. It's a typical South African pudding. They call it Malva pudding. There's no English translation for it. So you have to say Malva. Uh, Malva. Malva. Because oh, there's no the, translation. That's the correct pronunciation. It's Malva. Malva, yeah. yeah. Pudding. <laughs> it is the best pudding ever. So, guess what? We're going to have Malva pudding for Christmas. Look at this Malva pudding. And what's that? In so here is roasted pumpkin with cinnamon. Pumpkin. And That's veggies, right? Yeah, but it's orange. It's not green. It's not. Okay. And walnuts. Walnuts. Okay. And this is just roast potatoes. Okay, that I can do. I'm looking at the weather, and if you look here, this is the the purple is the quietness, and then, and we right there. So if we move today now at this time I press that little circle over there so there's a circle and it means present time present position so we can wait here for a couple of days at least one day we will have a braai and have a nice day relaxing and then maybe later watch a movie and then start motoring and Petro is definitely making sure that I'm going to have a very good Christmas. <laughs> so Petro is whipping again. And we are getting ready for a festive Christmas. Christmas. A naked Christmas. We've got the steaks on. So they are busy sizzling. <laughs> they are so big. Very, very thick. And you might wonder what this knife is for. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Just for the record. Okay, we need to take this outside. Frick is normally very good with it, but we cannot take chances. Uh, normally, normally I have a sword, but this, this should do. <laughs> a sabre. Okay, so we're going to do the sabre. Let's see. 
Yes. Wow. Every time. Nicely done. <laughs> Napoleon soldier started it. But if you do drink it. In the region of Champagne, and that's why we call always call this Champagne. Yeah, this is method cap classic or method traditional. Mm. Exactly. No one is anymore allowed to call it champagne, so they call it all other. And the reason why we're looking for the method traditional or method cup classic is that they make the bubbles inside the bottle. So they ferment this champagne or this bubbly inside the bottle and the bubbles is starting then there. While a sparkling wine is normally they put basically wine and I put CO2 bubbles from outside into the bottle. That's the difference between Method Cup Classic and sparkling wine. Check this. Oops. This is just perfection. Oh man. Perfection. Mmm. Malfa -hmm. pudding. Mmm. Faces don't lie. <laughs> No, no tension here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very good. <laughs> For the rest of the world, it's very good. Pietro, this is fabulous. <laughs> there we go. Calling sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. They don't need to know we're out here. We're crazy, it's too much And yeah, we're crazy, deep in love Look at this. It is so much. This is a Look at this. Lot of meat. It is serious fish. <laughs> and this is only one half of the fillet. Look at that. It is, that is massive. Fixing our halyard sleeve. Um, this was a temporary fix, but now that we are in very quiet environment we move Sisu is bobbing up and down but um, I had a double block over there and that one exploded just like Quah! and then when it exploded it ripped the sleeve open so now I need to fix this Luckily, this is Dynamo core, <laughs> otherwise, we would have lost the main alert for sure. Yeah. But there 
it's a flex point now in the middle. Let's see. Now for the sleeves. And I don't want to get too close there because then we will have a very long hard section. Here is the end result. So I managed to make sure that this will not move that way, but also all the fluff is off, and I think it can it can go through most of the blocks. It's definitely not will not win any awards for best looking or maybe even the best method. If you know a better method to do this, please comment below and i will definitely do it next time hopefully there is no next time also we have our um, endless furling line on the Cody. there must be a better way of doing things and i am not sure what so please comment below i don't have any google here so it's very difficult to to do any research on how to do this we've been asked a couple of times how do we know how high is the waves that that we are talking about and besides that we can actually see it on predict wind that the prediction will say that the waves is maybe like three meters high and the period is about six seconds or maybe they four meters high and the period is 15 to 16 seconds um, but that's just a prediction and we can show that to you and that's just a prediction huh? um, but if you look at this coach roof yeah this roof here yeah, all around is a certain height and that's documented so that's a certain height above water level so if I look at that side and I only see the incoming wave and I look that side and I only see the departing wave then it means I'm I'm below the crest of those two waves I cannot see the horizon except for those two waves the one that's coming and the one that's going so if I'm in the in the trough and I cannot see over over here then it actually means this thing is higher than me isn't it and this is how we kind of like say so where I'm sitting here if you look at me um, I'm almost as high as this this roof here sometimes I get knocked <laughs> so but my eyes is maybe 3.8 meters high so if I sit here and I check that side and I see the wave coming on and I check that side and I see the wave going and that's the only thing I see then it, I can assume that that wave is higher Store the engine, the port engine, and it started, but it didn't want to go in gear. In gear, it goes maybe like 1,500 revs, and it doesn't go faster. Um, if I put it, if I put it here in neutral, um, you know, like pulling it out and, and not engaging the gear, then it runs perfectly. So the diesel is fine. It is something to do with the sail drive. I really hope it's something in the prop and not not inside the sail drive. But the moment the sun is up and the is up, I will do a better inspection because that happened again last night. So the whole night we were running on one engine and those diesels, the Yanmar is, is, is tough. Okay, Pietro is awake. So I can now quickly check the props Let's first use this and check whether we can see something on the camera I've checked now here even on a computer I went and checked the, the gear the cell drive oil I started it again put it backwards forwards a few couple of times while it was idling 
And I think maybe it was just a prop that was not feathering. And that worried you. <laughs> this thing is making a noise. Go steering wheel now. Oh my word, are we going without a steering wheel? <laughs> I cannot see where the smoking noise. It must be inside here. Yeah. I guess they say we we call it on the autopilot work, so. Mmm. I just hope it's not the bearing that's busy now not packing bearing. up or something. But it's rusting so I can just as well de rust it and and polish it a little bit so and you can't go further than that. At this moment, no. Oh boy. So we have a minute to go. We have done 1,631 miles so far on this trip. We've reached the halfway and 250 meters. Counting down. <laughs> this is exciting times. A minute to go. The big secret, or oh, there's a couple of secrets. Let me tell you all of the secrets of a sabre, where we, where you basically use a big sword to cut off his, his neck. So first of all, you have to ensure that it doesn't go before the time. So make sure that when you take this wire off, the cork is not coming with. Okay, so far so good. So the first secret is it has to be clean. No, no obstructions like, like labels or stuff like that. So I'm going to do it on this side where it's very clean. The second thing is get a heavy knife, like a sword. It has to be the biggest knife in your cabinet. And then not the sharp point, the blunt point. So we're going to take the blunt point and if you take the sharp point, you're just going to clip the edge. If you take the blunt point, you hit the edge squarely there. Now, the other secret is you have to take it through. Don't hesitate. When you do this, you have to just go for it. Like playing golf. Like playing golf. If you play golf, I don't play golf. But I heard take that if, too, you, yeah. if you hesitate, or if you're scared or whatever, you don't hit the shot good. You have to be confident and just go for it. Second thing is you have to try and get the knife, middle of the knife, this is a nice heavy knife, in the middle of a knife, and not at the angle, not like that, but square. So it has to be like very square. So, and keep the knife as flat as possible, and go for it. Okay, let's see whether what I'm telling is it's going to work. And make sure there's no one in front of you that you like. And why are we doing this? Because it's the 1st of January 2021. Oh yeah, Happy New Year! Wow, that sounded good. We're now in this region where there's like a gazillion of these sarin grass or wheat patches, like islands of them. So I'm wondering whether they take the oxygen from the water. Pietro woke up one, one evening and she called me, uh, I can help me, and this was. <laughs> This was in her bed, or in our bed, but at that stage she was the only one sleeping. Hmm. Not, not a good way to wake up. Sunset cocktail, look at that view. Pietro also wanted to see a sailboat. Because we're now 3,000 miles and no sailboat yet. And uh, any boat and now over there she actually saw both in one shot that's a carrier with a couple of lagoons on it it is raining so she 
it now is probably closed. I spotted this big orange ball. Uh, we quickly changed course heading directly towards it because we have no idea what it is. But it's a massive big orange ball and there's something underneath it. Uh, we're about 50 miles off Antigua. Looks like we're suddenly ahead of it, like a submarine. <laughs> That big brother watching us. Oi. But first it is supper time. And what do we love doing? <laughs> we love to fry. We're going to fry chicken wings. Yay! We've got about another two and a half hours to go. Two and a half hours? Yeah. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> and we only landed one Mai Mai. Yeah, but we had four catches, which is better than the last 16,000 miles. I'm going to try and capture this moment that you can see land there at the back. It is Antigua that we are approaching after 22 days at sea and 3,090 miles land ahoy we will probably reach our anchorage at about 7 o'clock which is going to be in the dark but we are seeing land 2am in the car playing our favorite song turn it up down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wanna go Calling sick in the morning, baby don't leave They don't need to know we're out here It's too much And yeah, we're crazy Deep in love Oh, oh this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't 